Now, I know this might come off as a huge shock to a lot of you, but believe it or not, when I was in middle school, I was a massive edgelord. I was an OG edgelord, because the term edgelord wasn't even a term back then. And even though I tried desperately to forget how cringy I used to look and act, a recent picture surfaced of my 7th grade yearbook photo, and it's just too ridiculous not to share with you all. I mean, it's so cringy that I had to make a video roasting myself. Alright, so everyone get ready and take a look at this. This is 7th grade me, in my full, trying way too hard to look like a punk glory. Liberty spikes, basic black t-shirt, and prepubescent 5 year old face. And no, I didn't just dress like this for picture day, this is how I looked every day. I look like the offspring of a molested altar boy and a porcupine. I look like I'm too cringy for even my hair to want to be anywhere near my head. If France had known that I would eventually exist, they would have taken back the Statue of Liberty out of pity for America's future youth. I should have put marshmallows on all the tips and then put my head in a fucking campfire. But no, I thought I looked cool as fuck. No wonder I got picked on so much back then. I was practically inviting people to fuck with me. Listen, I'm telling you, I truly thought that I looked like a badass punk back then. And I had never even listened to real punk music yet. I was listening to shitty bands like Good Charlotte and doing my best to look exactly like them. Oh yeah, this is punk as fuck. Because nothing says I'm a rebel like spending hours gluing my hair into spikes with expensive ass hair gel. For real, I'd have to lay on my bed with my head hanging upside down for hours until the hair gel dried just so I could go to my country ass school and get called a faggot all day. If time travel ever exists, I'm going back to this moment with a pair of scissors and forcefully cutting off every single one of these spikes. You'll Thank me one day, you fucking loser. And can you guess what my favorite TV show was? Of course, Invader Zim. Jonan Vasquez, you son of a bitch. You created an entire generation of cringe-inducing edgelords. Jesus, just look at that facial expression. Please, Mr. Cameraman, please kill me, end my shame, and please stop laughing. I think I did this for all of 6th and 7th grade, until finally I was sick of everyone flicking my spikes every time I walked by. It only took me two years to figure out that sporting a ridiculous hairstyle was a terrible way to stay under the radar. No, I was not a punk. I was a fucking loser. And let me tell you what, when people say that bullying is all bad, I say bullshit. Because if I didn't get bullied for doing this, I probably would have kept doing it well into high school. Oh god damn it, I forgot all about high school. Well, here I am again in 10th or 11th grade, completely decked out in my school shooter outfit. Adam lands a haircut, Dylan Klebold black hoodie underneath a black bad religion shirt. Perfect clothing for Florida's hot 95 degree days. And let's not forget this travesty of bling bling that's hanging around my neck. That's right, that's a fake ass platinum chain with a stolen Cadillac hood ornament on the end of it. I guess I was going for the what the fuck am I doing with my life look. Turns out I hadn't actually grown out of the good Charlotte wigger meets wannabe punk aesthetic. I look like the rightfully forgotten ex-member of Bone Thugs and Harmony. But hey, at at least I got the yearbook award for most unique, along with my fellow classmate, Irish Avril Lavigne. Well, let's see what Instagram has to say. School shooter starter pack. Hell yeah, dude, about to shoot up the school. Why the hell is there a mop on your head? You got a touch of the tar brush. Shoot up the school? Would definitely be friend, just in case. You look like a 15 year old prepubescent child trying to fit in society. Looks like the kid in school who tried to be super edgy and was like, I have type two depression, then one day shot up the school. How many schools did you shoot up? Looks like your local school shooter. Emo to the extremo. Why does this picture remind me of the song Pumped Up Kids? It's pumped up kicks, you fucking idiot. School shooter! Rusty looks like the kid who would sell drugs in the back of his middle school and then shoot up the place while listening to pumped up kicks with his iPod Nano. Is this Jack Films a decade ago? I'm much better looking than Jack Films. Then, looks dead inside. Now, he still looks dead inside. School shooter looking ass. He looks like a school shooter. You look like a school shooter who always listens to pumped up kicks. Well, I wonder what people will say about the way I look now 10 years in the future. Only time will tell. This video was brought to you by the fine people at Sargento Cheese, as well as my supporters on Patreon. And hey, if you want to get your very own roast by me, or a voice recording of a personal message of your choice, you can do so by contributing $10 to my Patreon. Also, there are many other Patreon rewards available for patrons who pledge $1 or more a month. So check it out and see how you can support this channel while also getting cool shit in return. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Thank you.